Good morning to you. I'm meteorologist Caroline Carithers with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with your Thursday morning, September 28th tropical update. We actually have some new news for you from the National Hurricane Center. Tropical Storm Rena has formed in the central Atlantic. So here is a look at kind of where everything is. Of course, we've been tracking Tropical Storm Philippe for quite some time, right? Well, just to the east, we've been tracking this pretty robust tropical wave that was just to the east of Philippe. Now, it's had a hard time developing because it's been dealing with Philippe's wind shear, with it being so close to another tropical system, this tropical wave has had a hard time developing, but it's now far enough away from Philippe to develop. So the National Hurricane Center has determined that that tropical wave, which was called Invest 91, is now Tropical Storm Rena. Now, because they are still pretty close together, they're going to be interacting with each other. No, they're not going to merge into some superstorm. That's not what happens. What is going to happen is their tracks and intensity are going to be really affected by each other. So let's get into it. We'll start with Rena here. Max winds at 40 miles per hour. It's this area here. I'll point with it with my mouse here. This is Rena. This is Philippe. So this is Rena here. You see how close they actually are here. Max winds at 40 miles per hour. Latest track from the Hurricane Center does have Rena maintaining tropical storm status, so not really increasing in intensity all that much. And that is thanks to it continuing to deal with the wind shear of Philippe. Because it's so close to Philippe, it's dealing with its wind shear, it's really going to keep Rena from developing any more than a tropical storm, which is now currently what is forecast. Now the latest track does keep it over the open Atlantic heading towards Bermuda by early next week. Now looking at Philippe, Philippe is this area here. Of course, it's very, very close to Rena. Max winds at 50 miles per hour because of its interaction with Rena, which was a tropical wave. The track for Philippe has been adjusted a little bit further southward. This makes the forecast track a little bit more complicated, but this also does have it maintaining intensity a little bit more because it's not forecast to move through that much wind shear anymore because the track the track was adjusted a little bit so it is kind of a complicated pattern but what you need to know is that by the time we get to early next week a ridge of high pressure is going to build in the atlantic and that's going to shift both of these storms to the north over the open atlantic these are currently not threats to our stretch of the gulf coast so that's all that to say nothing for you to worry about as of right now so if you do want to get any updates you can head to wkrg.com search for our hurricane map room there there's the current graphics, the current videos, everything you need to know about the tropics. Stay safe.